This is the Triumph Tiger 660 Sport. It's got a lot of cool features and a lot of cool specs, but I want to dig deep through all of those to get to the bottom of which ones actually matter to your average owner. Stay tuned. It's going to be a good one. Inline triple, 660cc, derived from an old Daytona 675, makes about 80 horsepower claim and 47 pounds of torque. LED lights, not bad. 33.8 inches height on the seat. I'd say that's manageable. Metal foot pegs. Hmm. Same as the street cup. Not comfortable. No center stand. TFT display with two modes. Road and rain. You can also turn off traction control, but you can't turn off ABS. Heated grips, not standard. And protectors, not standard. Cruise control, non existent. However, you can't miss something you've never had. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty dope. Suspension, preload only, and only in the back. Front brakes, dual rotors, Nissan pistons, rear, single, better than I've ever had. Brake lever, adjustable. Clutch lever, non adjustable. Integrated luggage system. Luggage itself, kind of expensive. No skid plate. Self canceling. So out of all of those Tiger 660 Sport specs and features, which ones actually mean anything to you? I'll tell you which ones mean something to me. Seat height, manageable for my height. I'm 5'7", inseam is about 29 inches. Horsepower, 80. It's better than the street cup that I have, which is about 60. Heated grips, don't come standard, but I got them anyway, part of the package. Adjustable windscreen, that's great. Two modes, rain and road. Great. Now stuff like self-canceling turn signals, couldn't care less. You can turn off traction control if you needed to, but you can't turn off your ABS. Fine. Don't care. Two rotors in the front brakes improves stopping power. I like that. To the people that are complaining about the lack of cruise control, as I said before, you can't miss something you've never had. And if you're upgrading to this model from something older, you probably didn't have cruise control. What you could do is get a throttle lock. In the end, these are just the features and specs that mean something to me. You will have to make your own decision. But things like basic suspension, lack of cruise control, they don't bother me that much. Now, ask me again after I do my 3,000 mile trip to Arizona. We'll see what songs I'm singing. I want to thank everybody for stopping by and making it to the end of the video. Please subscribe, comment, and like. I'll be making more content on this Tiger 660 Sport because it is mine. There's going to be a bunch of other videos coming soon. First ride review, long-term ownership review, that sort of thing. So stick around. You'll see me um, maybe do some mods as well. So, so thanks again and ride safe.